Ajmul Lani here, Top Flight Sports Performance. Today I would like to talk to you about plyo boxes. Plyometric training is one of the core elements of any sports performance program. And over here I have your standard plyometric box, wooden. It's got the rubberized top. Um, it, it's angled and narrows at the top, which is fine. Um, when I was a kid competing, this is what we used. Now, there are some advantages. Um, it's solid and the rubberized surface makes for a soft landing, but there are a lot of limitations. First of all, if you've ever jumped on one of these boxes, it's, it's very unforgiving if you miss. Uh, they actually have metal plyometric boxes out there which are, are nightmarishly uh, painful if you if you hit one so anyway up until last summer all i used was wooden boxes um, it's also limited because this is probably uh an 18 inch plyo box you can't you can't drop it down to six inches or 12 inches or you can't move it up to 24 inches as well so anyway um this was the traditional way we did plyometric training. So now, courtesy of Hadar in Iowa, um, we have these soft plyometric boxes. Now, the reason why I love them so much is that A, they're modular. If I wanna have a six inch plyo box, I've got my six incher. If I wanna go up to 12, I can do that. Comfort correlates to confidence. Um, I've had a number of clients who would not have felt very comfortable jumping onto a 24 inch pile box if we were made out of wood or metal. They have no problems landing on this box. So um, it's really easy to set up. They've got the Velcro on the sides. It's light, it's portable. So I'm just gonna give it a try here, see how it goes. Piece of cake. So, plyo boxes. You can go with the traditional metal or wooden plyo boxes, or you can go with a soft, stackable, modular plyo boxes. Thanks very much. Win your day, talk to you soon.